Welcome back to a new episode of DevDrawer. Today I'm going to show you the most popular PHP frameworks you should use in 2023. Let's get started. So what is a framework? Before we list which are the best PHP frameworks to use, we need to first understand what a PHP framework is. PHP frameworks power anything from simple websites to big, complex web applications that manage millions of registrations and daily visits. PHP frameworks have been in use for decades now. Uh, PHP lib, uh, the first PHP framework, dates back to pre-2000, and they've taken different forms, but their main purpose has stayed mostly the same. The purpose is to help PHP developers by providing sets of commonly used functions as well as libraries for common functionalities and to enforce the use of best coding practices. Think of a PHP framework as a skeleton that already provides a running system where you can embed your code without having to go through every detail from scratch. So when do you use a PHP framework? It may sound like a good idea for PHP programmers to use PHP frameworks in almost every project but there are many cases when using one might not be the best idea. It all depends on the project. So let's have a quick look at some of the pros and cons of using a PHP framework. Let's first look at the cons. Slow execution is a main concern with a PHP framework usually adding complexity and overhead to a project. A PHP framework will usually add some number of classes and libraries before it can run. Sometimes the best solution might to be just to write down some custom code at the lowest abstraction level that would be faster and less complex than using a framework. Also, if you're using a framework for a general solution, there it provides a skeleton of libraries and functionalities that's ready to use that should solve most common problems that a developer finds. Whenever you're choosing a framework, you should be careful to understand if it solves your problem, and then you should check to see if it fits the rest of your needs. So it doesn't solve for every specific problem you may have, but it may give you a good framework to work with. Most uh, frameworks have a learning curve. They generally uh, pull us towards good structured code and best practices. However, it may take time and effort to learn and master a framework. If you can't master the framework, you may end up with a big mess instead of structured code. Finally, you have limited control. When you use a PHP framework, you're introducing an external dependency. With this, you're accepting that people in charge of the framework might stop supporting it at any time or move its development in a different direction. You also have to take into consideration the time needed to upgrade a framework to a newer version and having to deal with all the code updates that that upgrade may bring. Now on to the pros. Quicker development times. A well-structured PHP framework already contains implementations for the most common problems you must solve built into it. It also usually provides well-structured application architecture, so model view controller or MVC. By using a framework, you usually get a fully functional template, and you only have to focus on building the features specific to your project. Don't forget about command line tools most frameworks offer. They greatly reduce development time. Next is security. PHP applications do not have good security by default, and some developers may not be the best at creating their own security measures. By using a PHP framework, you're using solutions that are continuously tested, reviewed, and scrutinized by the PHP community. Because of most of them are open source, security issues are usually quickly noticed and fixed. Lastly, you have easier uh, collaboration. Using a PHP framework makes it easier for new developers to get started on the project. Even if they're not from already familiar with it, they'll probably have access to complete documentation and tutorials for it to make the transition easier. It's difficult to get a definitive list of PHP frameworks. Wikipedia lists about 40 frameworks at the time of recording this video, but some are better described as content management systems. There are probably many more to actually choose from, though. Before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. Uh, but remember, subscribe and ring the bell to get more notifications for future helpful content like this. Here are some of the best PHP frameworks in use today. Laravel, Symfony, Codeigniter, Zen Framework, now known as the Lominous Project, CakePHP, E, Slim, and FuelPHP. Let's get started with Laravel since it's the most popular today. Laravel was launched in 2011 and is currently on version 9, which was released in 2022. To use version 9, you must be on a PHP version greater than 8. It's easy to get started with Laravel Homestead, an out-of-the-box virtual development environment. Laravel Homestead is an official prepackaged Vagrant box that provides you with a wonderful development environment without requiring you 
to install PHP, a web server, or any other server software on your local machine. No worrying about messing up your operating system. If you're a Mac user, you also have the choice of using Laravel Valet as your development environment. Laravel Valet also supports Symfony, CakePHP 3, Slim, and Zend, as well as WordPress. Laravel uses a templating engine called Blade. One advantage it has over other templating engines is that you can use PHP within Blade. Package List, a collection of Laravel packages, has more than 15,000 packages you can use in your projects to help you get started quicker. Laravel provides a range of security features and methods for authentication, authorization, email verification, encryption, hashing, and password reset. Laravel's eloquent ORM and Fluent Query Builder guard against SQL injections attacks as they use PDO parameter binding. Cross-site request forgery protection, which uses a hidden CSRF form token, is also enabled by default. The Artisan console command line tool that Laravel has speeds up development by allowing developers to automate repetitive tasks and generate skeleton code fast. Laravel was the fastest of the PHP frameworks I tried, and the Laravel ecosystem has several useful tools, such as Mix for compiling CSS and JS assets, Socialite for OAuth authentication. Laravel also has benefits from a large community of developers, like WordPress. You can find them at Laracast, a learning portal for courses, blogs, podcasts, and a forum. Laravel.io, a community portal with over 45,000 users, and Laravel even has its own subreddit, home to 50,000 Laravel artisans. Next, we have Symfony, the second most used PHP framework. Symfony was launched in 2005 and is currently on version 6.1.5, which was released in 2002. To use version 6.1.5, you must be on a PHP version greater than 8. Symfony is both PHP framework and a collection of PHP components for building websites. Symfony is an excellent choice for websites and apps that need to be scalable. Its modular component system is very flexible and lets you choose components you need for your project without forcing you to use bloatware. Out of the most popular PHP frameworks, Symfony supports the most database types like Drizzle, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres SQL, SAP Sybase, SQL Anywhere, SQL Lite, or SQLite, and MSSQL. The best way to interact with your database is via the Doctrine ORM. Symfony uses database mappers to map objects to the database. This keeps your object model and the database schema separate, meaning that if you need to change your database column, you don't need to make any changes in your code base. Debugging Symfony projects is pretty straightforward since it has its own built-in toolbar. Symfony uses the Twig templating engine, which is easy to learn, it's fast, and it's secure. Packages list over 4,000 Symfony packages available for you to download and use. Symfony has commercial backing from Sensor Labs. This means there's professional support available. Unlike most other PHP frameworks, it also has a long-term support release that have three full years of support. In addition, the Symfony community is huge with over 600,000 developers actively involved. Let's move on to CodeIgniter. CodeIgniter was launched in 2006 and is currently on version 4.1, which was released in 2002. To use version 4.1, you must be on a PHP version greater than 7.4. CodeIgniter helps you build web apps quickly as it has minimal configuration and is known for its speed. It was the second fastest of the four PHP frameworks I tried in my test. The framework has a light footprint at only 1.2 megabytes, so no bloat. You can add exactly the components you need. CodeIgniter is flexible and encourages development with the MVC architecture, but you can also code non-MVC applications as well. The framework includes defenses against CSRF and XSS attacks, plus has content-sensitive escaping and a content security policy. CodeIgniter supports multiple methods of caching to help with speeding up your apps. CodeIgniter has an easy learning curve compared to the other frameworks and is quite extensible. CodeIgniter community consists of a forum and a Slack group. Another favorite of hardcore developers is the Zen framework. The Zen framework was launched in 2006 and is a long-established PHP framework that is now transitioning to the Lominous project. Migration to Lominous is strongly recommended as Zen is no longer updated. The Lominous project consists of three parts, Lominous, Components, and MVC, Mizio, Lominous API tools. The Zen framework has more than 570 million installation and is the most used PHP framework by enterprises and businesses. Like Symfony, you can just use the components you need. 
The Lominous community has a forum and Slack group for collaboration and support. The Zen framework probably has the hardest learning curve compared to all of the other frameworks, but it can help you establish yourself as a full stack developer at many large corporations if your career is going that route. Next is an oldie but a goodie. Cake PHP was launched in 2005 and is currently on version 4.4, which was released in 2002. To use version 4.4, you must be on a PHP version greater than 7.4. Cake serves up fast and clean PHP development and configuration is minimal. You don't need to mess around with XML or YAML files. Once you set up your database, you can begin coding. Cake PHP even has its own built-in ORM, which is quick and simple to use. Security features include methods for encryption, password hashing, safeguarding form data, and CSRF protection. Cake PHP's components and helpers help simplify development and reduce the number of daily tasks you must complete. GitHub also has a helpful list of Cake PHP resources and plugins that you can use in your project. You can learn Cake PHP through their cookbook documentation, online training, and CakeFest conferences. You can also find friendly Cake PHP bakers through their forums, Stack Overflow, IRC, and Slack. Pro support is also available from Cake DC, run by the Cake PHP founder, Larry Masters. Next up, E. E was launched in 2006 and is currently on version 2.0.46, which was released in 2002. To use 2.0.46, you must be on PHP version greater than 7.4. E means simple and evolutionary in Chinese. It also stands for yes, it is. You can get up and running with E within minutes because of the documentation is well written and easy to use. E is also fast, lightweight, and easy to get started with. E framework has several security measures such as bcrypt password hashing, encryption, authentication, and authorization. E has a code generator called G that helps you quickly build skeleton code saving you development time. The community offers live support via Slack and IRC. There's also a discussion forum and social media channels. The community rewards its active members with badges and entries in the Hall of Fame to keep the community involved and helpful. Need something smaller? Try Slim. Slim was launched in 2010 and is currently on version 4.10.4, which was released in 2022. To use version 4.10.4, you must be on PHP version greater than 7.4. Slim is a stripped-down, agile, micro-PHP framework that focuses on receiving an HTTP request invoking a callback and returning an HTTP response. Slim's code base is lean as it has no third-party dependencies. As a result, it's very fast. Slim is particularly suited to building small applications and APIs. If you need more from a framework, Slim integrates with both first-party and third-party components. It's easy to use and learn, and you can build a Hello World app in minutes. Professional support for Slim is available from Tidelift. Finally, the youngest framework on my list, FuelPHP. FuelPHP was launched in 2014 and is currently on version 1.9, which was released in 2021. To use version 1.9, you must be on a PHP version greater than 5.3. FuelPHP is a community-driven PHP framework with over 300 contributors over its lifetime. FuelPHP uses MVC, but also supports HMVC. This adds another layer between the controller and the view. The advantages of the HMVC design pattern are better code organization, greater modularity, more extensible, and encourages code reuse. You can choose the file and folder structure you want for your project as there are few constraints. FuelPHP takes security seriously, which features like outputting encoding, CSRF protection, input URI and XSS filtering, and escape user input into SQL statements. FuelPHP has its own command line utility called OIL, which you can use to run tasks, debug code, and generate common components. The FuelPHP ORM is potent yet lightweight. You can join the Fuel PHP community in their forums and on Facebook and Twitter. What is the best PHP framework for beginners? The best PHP frameworks for beginners are the ones that are simpler and leaner. If you're just starting out with a PHP framework development, keep it small and learn more about the commonly used MVC architecture. Learn this and then move on to more robust solutions. This means E, Cake PHP, and Slim. If you have experience with the MVC architecture, you may be able to start with Laravel or CodeIgniter since their documentation is phenomenal. If you're going into the corporate world, maybe try Zend, now known as Lominous, would be the best route for you to learn due to its business implementation capabilities, but be warned there is a learning curve. 
Which framework do you opt for will depend on the type of app you're building. There are PHP frameworks for all tastes, ranging from ultra minimal to everything but the kitchen sink. Hopefully this video has helped you figure out the perfect PHP framework for you. Which is your preferred PHP framework and why? Do you absolutely hate a specific PHP framework? Let the world know why and how to avoid it. Did I miss one you use? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. Talk to you later. Thank you.